interior angle theorem. The statement is, if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the interior angles on either side of the transversal are supplementary. That means the addition will be 180. So here in the figure we are given line L parallel to line M and line N is their transversal. So hence as shown in the figure angle A and angle B are interior angles formed on one side and angle C and angle D are interior angles formed on other side of the transversal. To prove Angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 and angle D plus angle C is equal to 180. Let us see the proof. Here three possibilities arise regarding the sum of measures of angle A and angle B. First, either angle A plus angle B will be less than 180 degree. Second, angle A plus angle B will be greater than 180 degree. Or third, angle A plus angle B will be equal to 180 degree. Let us assume that the possibility first, that is A plus B, is less than 180 degree is true. So then according to Euclid's postulate, if the line L and line M are produced, it will intersect each other on one side of the transversal where angle A and angle B are formed. But line L and line M are parallel lines given. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degree is impossible. So hence, our first possibility is impossible. Now, let us suppose that angle A plus angle B will be greater than 180 degree is true. That is the second possibility is true. But as we know that angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. And angle C plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Because both of these form angles in linear pair. So when we add these, the left hand side gets added with the left hand side and the right with the right hand side. So angle A plus angle D plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 plus 180 that means 360. If I take A and B on that side that means to the right hand side I will have angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 minus angle A plus angle B. If angle A plus angle B is greater than 180, then 360 minus angle A plus B, it will be less than 180. So angle C plus angle D will be less than 180 degree. In that case, line L and line M produced will intersect each other on the same side of the transversal where angle C and angle D are formed. Therefore, angle C plus angle D less than 180 degree is impossible. That is, angle A plus angle B greater than 180 degree is impossible. Therefore, the remaining possibility that is angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree is true. And if angle A plus angle B is 180, similarly angle C plus angle D will also be equal to 180. Note that in this proof, because of the contradictions, we have denied the possibilities of angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degree and angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degree. Therefore, this proof is an example of indirect proof. Corresponding Angles Theorem The statement is the corresponding angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measure. Here we are given in the figure that line L parallel to line M 
and line N is a transversal. And we have to prove that angle A is equal to angle B. Proof. Angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Number it as 1. That is angles in linear pair. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Number it as 2. The reason is property of interior angles of parallel lines. And in both number 1 and number 2 points, the right hand side is same. 180 degree, 180 degree. Hence, the left hand side also will be same. So, angle A plus angle C is equal to angle B plus angle C. That is from 1 and 2. Now, angle C is on both the sides. So, hence it can cancel out. Hence, we will have angle A is equal to angle B. That means, when the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are of equal measure. Alternate Angles Theorems The alternate angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measures. So here we are given that line L parallel to line M and line N is a transversal. And we have to prove angle D is equal to angle B. So in the proof we have angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Number it as 1. That is angles in linear pair. Then angle C plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Number it as 2. That is property of interior angles of parallel lines. And when you see the number 1 and number 2, the right hand side is same, 180 degree, 180 degree. Hence, the left hand side also will be same. So, angle D plus angle C is equal to angle C plus angle B. That is from 1 and 2. Here, angle C is on both the sides. Hence, it will cancel out. So, we have angle D is equal to angle B. That is, alternate angles are of equal measure. Let us solve sums based on these theorems. Angle 